All righty, KAL listeners. It's officially 4 a.m., so our Ain't Love Grand Marathon must come to an end. I'll leave all you late-night lonely hearts out there with this classic by the ever-so-talented Loretta Vale. Cupid spelled H-I-T. <laughs> worthy of good things. Your spirit is unique. Your heart is open and pure. You are capable. You are beautiful. You got this. I wouldn't go so far as to say it was bad, but it's certainly no Philadelphia story, and it doesn't even come close to an affair to remember, but I'm kind of a Cary Grant fangirl, so I would say that. I guess I just don't think people appreciate a good love story. What about you, Melvin? Oh, well, uh, I'm no fangirl, per se, but uh, he's definitely handsome. No, silly. I'm asking you how you think the film compares to some of the classics. Oh, um, well, it, it, um... I agree with everything you just said. Thanks for walking me home. You were just down the street from the theater, and I was having a nice time, so... Would you like to come inside? I, I don't know. I don't, I don't normally. We'd be fools to let happiness pass us by. Well, how can a girl resist an offer like that? <laughs> did you know Ingrid Bergman was the first choice to play Terry McKay? <laughs> I did not know that. Doris Day as well, but neither would have been as good. <gasps> Hi, Melvin. Pardon the interruption. Are these your roommates? Uh, what the heck is going on? Who are these guys? This whole thing is just a big misunderstanding, okay? I'll take care of everything. Don't worry. <laughs> Listen. Okay, there must be some sort of confusion here. Oh, I'm not confused, Melvin. I'm a little confused. If someone could just tell and me. I don't know what you guys think, but I haven't done anything. Oh, <laughs> come on, huh? I mean, you're wrecking all my stuff. Now, correct me if I'm mistaken, but isn't this your grandmother's home? You live with your grandmother? No. Well, this is her home, but uh, she, she doesn't live here anymore. Melvin put his sweet old Nana in a home a few months ago. Now, that's not true. She needed the supervision. It's what was best for her. Apparently, she was going to kick her free-loading grandson to the curb. You know, I don't even know what you guys are looking for. Yeah, maybe if you tell me, I can help you find it. Melvin, Melvin, Melvin. Come on. <laughs> I'd have to be a... a an idiot to steal from the organization. Remember, I, I was the one who found Boosty after they caught him lifting from the subscriptions? I mean, I saw what was left of him. 
If you let me call what Olivia, I promise we can sort this whole thing out. I don't think so. Hey, hi. He. Maggie, what are you doing? What is it exactly you're looking for? Stay out of this. I can handle. It. Frankly, Melvin, I don't think you're doing a very good job of handling this. <laughs> So, uh, what's the deal with you two lovebirds? <laughs> I didn't realize Melvin could land a girlfriend. Oh! <laughs> I'm not his. We're not. Tonight was our first date. First date? Oh, talk about bad luck, honey. Well, I don't mean to spoil Romeo here's shining image, but I'd inventory my wallet if I were you. Oh. What do you mean? He steals. He likes to sneak his crummy little hands into the cooking jar. I thought Melvin worked for the Saints of St. Christopher downtown. How long have you known Melvin for? About a month. We met online in a forum for the lovers of romantic stuff. Oh, he doesn't work for the Saints of St. Christopher's downtown. Let's say he is a man of many low-level occupations. Such as? Mm -hmm. Sometimes he is tasked with helping us clean up things. Like a janitor? Not exactly. You see, often in our line of work, things get dirty. Blood, human excrement, nasty stuff, really. And that's just a fraction of what I do. And it would appear, as of late, Mel has been abusing his access, helping himself to what doesn't belong to him. And that's why we're here, love. To retrieve what's ours and, uh, well, clean up our own little mess. Isn't that right, Melvin? You lied to me? A tiny little fib, that's all. What else did you lie about? Did you actually graduate cum laude from U of A? I used to live by the campus. You've never been married before. They were all so short, it's almost like they don't even count. Melvin, mm. please don't tell me you lied about T.D. Mm. Dirty dancing is out for movie. I can't stand Patrick Swayze. <laughs> I can't believe you've been lying to me this entire time. A few tiny little lies. Little! <laughs> Melvin, I'm a person with feelings. I'm a person who deserves respect. I'm a person who deserves honesty, and I'm a person who deserves to be loved and not made to feel like a fool. <laughs> Maggie, look at me. Look at me. You are a beautiful, passionate, albeit maybe a little overly trusting woman. This sorry excuse for a man doesn't deserve your tears. He deserves to have his picture in the dictionary next to the word loser. May I ask you a question? Anything, love. Are you gonna kill me? Hmm. I'm afraid so. <laughs> Listen, you, you don't have to do this. All right, I, I, I'll, I'll leave town. Eh? Fine, fine. Oh, okay, you win. Yeah, I'll show you where it is. <laughs> Uh, no, you, 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 you can take it. Look, just, just tell Olivia it was just a, a, a misunderstanding. It was never about you stealing, Melvin. I don't like dishonesty. No, no, you don't have to do this. Come on.
truly love. Apologies. Believe where I found. What are you going to do? Kill me? I am worthy of love. I am worthy of good things. My heart is open and pure. I am beautiful. I am beautiful. Was worth 